Hey there, I'm Luke. In today's episode, we're gonna focus on TS, or Tourette Syndrome. Specifically, we will focus on the following four areas. Number one, we will define Tourette Syndrome. Number two, we'll identify common symptoms. Number three, we'll answer frequently asked questions. And lastly, we're gonna go over how to help your child in the general education setting. All of this, and so much more on today's episode of Special Education Decoded. All right, before we dive into our topic today, Tourette Syndrome, I'm hoping you can help. On the bottom right-hand side of your screen, you will see a little logo with the word subscribe on it. Click that real quick. Thank you so much. All right, let's dive in and help shed some light onto yet another special education acronym, TS. TS, or Tourette syndrome, is a neurological disorder that involves uncontrolled and repetitive movements or vocalized tics. Tourette syndrome was first described by a French neurologist, Georges Gilles de la Tourette, in 1885. TS can occur in all ethnical groups and in all stages of life. Symptoms of Tourette syndrome usually start at a younger age. Now that we've covered what Tourette syndrome is, let's discuss some of the common symptoms. The most common symptom of TS is what's called a tic. They can either be physical or verbal, and they can be classified as either simple or complex. Some simple tics can include face grimacing, repetitive eye blinking, and grunts or throat clearing. What's referred to as a common tic often includes a combination of two or more simple tics. Tics often occur at unstructured times during the day where there is a lot of anxiety or high stress. Now that we've discussed some of the symptoms, let's go over some answers to common questions associated with Tourette syndrome. Number one, is there a known cause for TS? Now, according to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, the cause of TS is unknown, but current research points to abnormalities in certain brain regions the circuits that interconnect these regions, and neurotransmitters responsible for communication among nerve cells. Number two, are there other disorders associated with Tourette syndrome? Yes, ADHD is the most common associated disorder. Number three, is there a cure for Tourette syndrome? Unfortunately, there is no cure for Tourette syndrome at the present time. Number four, can TS or Tourette syndrome be treated? Yes, treatment for TS is aimed at controlling tics that interfere with everyday activities and functioning. However, when tics aren't severe, treatment might not be necessary. Lastly, let's discuss how Tourette syndrome can impact your child in their educational setting, along with some tips that could help. Tourette syndrome educational impact and tips. Number one, some tics may impact your child's educational experience by causing them to struggle when distractions occur or any form of anxiety takes place, such as test taking. So long as your child has an IEP or individualized education plan, you can request to have them tested in another location away from distractions. You can also write in the IEP, breaks are needed, in between longer assignments and activities. Number four, it may be helpful to schedule weekly guidance counselor appointments to make sure that your child can talk about their week and have a break from the general education setting. That brings us to the conclusion of our brief overview of Tourette syndrome or TS. I truly hope this video helped you understand more about Tourette syndrome or at the very least, opens up your mind to ask more questions for your child. 
If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see in a video topic or questions regarding Tourette syndrome, please leave a comment. I'll also leave our contact information in the description for this video. We love interacting with our incredible community and strive to help simplify the world of special education. From all of us at specialedresource.com, thank you for watching this episode of Special Education Decoded. We'll see you in the next video.